Look, I don't like you guys, so I'm going to quit shot. Me, Champa, Money in the Bank for a WWE Championship. And if you're wondering why I don't have that, it's because it's getting a bit of a makeover. I don't like how it looks anymore. And I don't like how Tommaso Champa looks. So I'm going to rearrange his face at Money in the Bank. And Champa, before you try and get smart and use any dirty tactics like you did to me when I was watching Jimmy Uso at Extreme Rules, just know, I'm not alone. You are alone. I am a WWE Champion. And just remember, I have backup. Hello guys, we are back on this WWE My Career. I'm coming out now. We have the WWE the Champion Fuller Web. Making his way Guys, to the ring look from like this. England. I thought that we were done with this mask gimmick, but it seems like after what we saw last Webb. week when he challenged the Muscle Champa to a match for a WWE champion, Championship at um, WWE Championship at Money in the Bank. Looks like he's trying to play mind games. If you guys remember, this is the man that commented to Muscle Champa. Well, this is the attire that the man was in when he tormented to Muscle Champa. So I thought Webb is trying to play mind games with Muscle Champa here tonight. And I don't think Champa is going to take too kind to that. We already know what he's capable of. And guys, now. Onto to Muscle Champa. Look at this, guys. Coming out now, we have Finn Balor. And if you guys know anything about this, you guys know. And his opponent from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. Yeah, you guys know what Finn Balor and Fuller have in their history. You guys know what went on. And it was around this time, around one year ago, when Fuller Webb was recruited to join the new club with Finn Balor. And soonly, as he got injured, he left the new club. But you guys have a lot of history. Finn Balor have been trying to form the new club after that big loss at WrestleMania to Fuller Web. And I heard that Fuller Web requested this match from Finn Balor just to show that he is the most superior man on this raw roster. Again, a close line. And looking for the 1916. This is Finn Balor's chance to prove that he is worthy of a championship match. And drops Fuller down on his neck. Is this over for Fuller? One, two, three. And it's over for Fuller. Wait, hold on. What's going on? What's going on right now? Fuller Webb just got up and he's demanding a rematch from Finn Balor. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Guys, Fuller Webb just demanded a rematch. He said the referee just cheated him. He kicked out and the referee had to give the rematch because he is the WWE Champion. <laughs> so I guess Finn Balor did not actually win the match, guys. What the hell is going on? And Fuller is sick of this now. He's not playing any more games. Fuller just said to the referee, I did not lose you are wrong and the referee just agreed with him guessing he should do whatever the WWE champion tells you to now look at this Finn Balor puts Fuller in the submission I don't think Fuller's gonna take too kind to that and Fuller gets out straight away look at this now Fuller Webb is just destroying Finn Balor or a kick to the knee right there Ward. See Finn Balor trying to get the pin. Finn Balor thinks that he was robbed of a win, robbed of a win right there. Now look at this in the submission. Finn Balor has nowhere to go. It might be over, but no, he is able to power out. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not 
so sure he had it fully locked in. Elbow to the face of Fuller, same with a forearm. But Fuller gets up to his feet, he's had enough, and he's bringing it all. The fifth baller bringing out all the moves. Four rounds must get traded. Full in the corner, but delivers from Bala an elbow. Look at this. And a super kick in midair. It's over. One, two, three. And still your winner. Fuller Web. Um yeah, I guess Fuller just demanded that rematch and he was able to get it. But Fuller gonna celebrate after that big super kick there. Now Fuller celebrating his big victory. Looks like he's calling someone out. Who could it be? Who could it Oh, a shot by Finn Balor. Another strike by Finn Balor. Oh, and another one. Oh, and the Raw Tag Team Champions are here. Attacking Finn Balor, Bronson Reed, Jack Frost. We saw these guys last week attacking Finn Balor. And this is what he meant when he said he had backup. Hi guys, we're back on the next episode of Raw and coming out we have the, the tag team Raw champions Bronson Reed and Jack Frost Look at this after the last week of Raw and, it, and then everyone found out that full of web work with these guys everyone has been in shock these guys are the raw champion full of web is the WWE champion things couldn't get any crazier and guys coming up now the viking raiders war raiders whatever you want to call them they are here Hanson and Raw, Eric and Ivar, these men are here and they are walking down to the ring to face the Raw Tag Team Champions, Brogdon Reed and Jack Ross. Guys, if you didn't know, well you definitely don't know, Tommaso Ciampa, he went up to Adam Pierce and Sonya Deville and he said that after the match Finn Balor was unfairly attacked by the Raw Tag Team Champions. And he said to Sonya Deville and Alan Pierce, he thinks that um, the tag team champion should have a match against Hansen and Raw because they need to get taught a lesson. So let's see if that lesson will be taught tonight. Jack Frost and Eric now. They're gonna just be fighting. I don't even know if it's Eric either. I don't even know. All you folks, what it's all about. Both men in the corner. Look at that big slap right there. Big slap by Jack Frost, but now just gets clotheslined. Now look at it, full of web on the outside, accompanying, accompanying his two protégés, you could say. Big and the Guri right there. Bronson Reed gets tagged in. Look at this, full of web just taunting. He is proud of what he's what done. Big Irish whip into the corner, stomping out the leg of Raw. I don't even know. I think uh, yeah, this would be Eric. But I don't know why they always change my name. But I should really talk about changing a name. Follow up, changing name like three times. But yeah, look at that Eric back to the end of tag. In the corner now. Now, look at this, you guys can see from a different camera angle, you guys can see what's going on with Eric and Jack Frost in this one, just taunting. Look at that arm drag. In the corner now. Oh, big boot to Eric. So far, Hampton not haven't even gotten a match. Look at this. Webb and Bronson Reed both turning. 
Tolo's brother, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle. The Eric Texas now outlaws, the gonna, the Blackjacks, the Anderson, gonna the catch um, Doc Frost of God trying to get his hands in, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. In the corner now. And Brunson Reed gonna get tagged in. The double Irish whip. Oh, and the kick. Oh. On the shoulders, get drop down, head backing into the turn I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, now look at this. Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Full of just Sanders, staring at Hanson. Look at this. You don't know which team would be wearing the gold. Now, Eric, he's trying to bring Hanson into a corner. I mean, he was trying to bring Bronson Reed into a corner. Now, look at this. Hanson not going to take too kind to what just happened, and I don't think Fuller's going to take too nice to getting slapped. He's the WWE Champion, and he's having a little bit of a talk right there with Hanson. And look at this. Hanson doesn't care. He tried to do something, but no gets countered, showing why you don't mess with him. Powerbomb and a spin into the apron for the web return back to his corner. I don't think that Hanson took too kind to him. He might be even angry now. There's nothing you can really do about it. Big knee. Now look at this, the stomping on the arm. You guys can see Raw is literally, he has took so much damage in this match. And finally Hanson is able to get in. Fuller Webber has been pacing around the, this arena over ring all match. And look at this bunch of greed. Two big, big, big men uh, just fighting right now. This, this could be for anyone. Dark Frost is cheering on um, his partner. I think that if Jack Frost is able to get jacked in, his speed could help take down Hansen a bit more than Bronson Reed's strength but don't get me wrong Bronson Reed is also very quick for his size for the web now he's on the apron just so he could get a better look at what he just saw he likes what he just saw he could he wanted to get a better look of that in the corner or oh, big clothesline gets reversed drop kick these men are fighting. Now Hansen has Jack Frost by the head. Snapmare, not looking good, a kick to the back. And I think Ivar's about to get tagged in. I mean, Eric's about to get tagged in. This is so confusing. Now look at this. Full of web picks of these steel steps. What, what does he want to do? He just pushes them into the ring. Maybe he wants Jack Frost to try and use them to his advantage. Jack Frost now on the shoulders of Eric. The referee is distracted right now. Referee distracted and Fuller gets in a cheap shot. That was all part of Fuller's plan. He got in a cheap shot while the ref was distracted. This is very smart. Now Eric probably isn't feeling too good after just getting double teamed. Oh. Double teams in an illegal manner. But he's still trying to fight. Oh, and a Superman punch from the corner. That was clean if I do say so myself. For Jack Frost, did not think that was clean. Jack Frost gets up to his feet. I think he was looking for something there. Oh no, I think he was looking for death row. I think Eric was looking for death row. I don't even know if you can call that and call it that anymore. Big arm breaker to Frost. Now in the corner, I think, I think that Frost is about to feel a Viking experience. Oh, and Fuller breaks it up. Oh my goodness. 
Fuller literally just broke whatever happened, what, whatever was about to happen up. Fuller was not happy with that. He just broke up. Probably that could have been one of the key moments in this match, but he's not having it. Off the road, just gets caught with a side slam. Bronson reads in the ring to break it up. Now look at it on the top rope. He's distracting. He's trying to distract Hanson, but it's not working. Oh, and a big leg drop to the arm. Dan Frost needs to get back in this one. Willow Webb has been helping him a bit too much. I don't think Webb's going to be happy. You know, Webb doesn't like to do too much. Oh, and Frostbite connects. And look, I vow Eric was right there to just break it up. Look at this. Iva, he's about to get his team disqualified from the match, but he slides out the ring. In the corner now. Drop kick missed right there, that could have been brutal. Oh, but look at the slap. Look at the slap, Jack Cross isn't happy. Going for the arm wrench, the knee. Oh, he went for something else. But it didn't happen, but that Korok and Rhino just did happen. This has been a good match so far. A kick to the leg. Now look how Hansen just got dropped on the back. And look at this. Looking for frostbite now. I look at this, Fuller Web just massively helped right there. Fuller Web just hit, hit. he literally risked him, his team getting disqualified and he hit um, Ivar right there. He hit him with a big move to try and break it up and it did work indeed. This was a smart plan by Fuller Web. You guys, you can see how much he cares for his team. You can see the way he's trying to help his team as well. Look at all these clips. Look at everything that Fuller did to help his team. And his team gets the win. Both men are very happy. The handshake of doom. And this is just the beginning of these two men. But anyway guys, I hope you guys have liked this episode. It's been a bit longer, three weeks, because we had a lot. I think this is my career, since it's a long time to Kuga 23, I've got lots of ideas. And I really, really am excited to show you guys them. But anyway guys, that's all for today. Hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like button, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Twenty twenty shit it kinda soft line. My side is so far away and behind. Slow it down and I promise I'll get mine. Get in a grip on time, eye for an eye. Need that hunger motor vision, I'm like that on the mission.